Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review a ROM called Carbon ROM for OnePlus One. If you go to settings menu on your phone you can find I am using Carbon ROM and it is the nightly version which is this ROM is based on the Android Lollipop 5.1.1 which is the latest version of Android and you can see other information here. Talking about the Carbon ROM, it is based on Cyanogen mode and AOSP so you can find bo both the features of and uh, let's talk about beside, beside the common features you used to see in almo almost all the lollipops let's go and check out the ROM specific carbon ROM specific settings you can see it is using the Google camera only and uh, the music application if you go to the settings and you can see the notification area just like normal nothing new clicking here it will go to the battery icon and you can set the battery saver threshold and uh, you can change the user from there and you will get all the toggles here so if you go to settings menu from on the top section you will get all the regular wireless and networking settings and here you can see carbon ROM fibers so these are the carbon ROM specific or exclusive settings Let's talk, of, talk about them. First of all, about the status bar, you can find network activity arrows. If you want to see the arrows here, you can add that and you can customize the battery status style. And if you want to put a battery percentage inside the circle, I can do that. And brightness control by sliding the notification icon, I can control the brightness, which is a cool feature. okay and show a notification account if you swipe left you will get uh, clock options clock alignment so everything about the status bar and here is a network traffic if you want to see the uh, monitoring the network speed and all you can see all this information on top here and you can customize the colors and all next about the network traffic Yes, and you can see status bar traffic display, status bar traffic monitor, and update interval. Everything is there. And here, if you, if you want to put the carrier level information there, you can add that. And you can also customize the information there. So that's about the status bar option. Next, let's talk about the buttons. So here you can see the buttons. You can customize the functions of all these hardware buttons, and you can also add the navigation bar buttons like this. So you can left and more double tap to sleep if you want you can add that so that's about a navigation bar and here is the hardware keys and backlight for the hardware keys and then end call answer call and you can customize all the functions like long press double uh, tap options of each and every physical keys here and volume buttons wake up device if you want to do that other options if you swipe here you can get the button on layout option so you can customize the button on layout of the notification button and here is the notification bar dimensions if you are using the notification bar navigation ring and other power menu options like if you want to add any options here like uh, screenshot if you want to add just add it then you can see the screenshot option here so you can customize the power menu action Next one is the Pi control. It's a pretty handy feature. You can see the buttons. You can add buttons, and you can also style and dimension. You can and you can also customize it friggin position. So it's about the left screen. If you want the right side, I can do that. So this is the Pi control, and okay, you can customize all these buttons. So these are the trigger options you can customize. Next about the interface. So from interface you can customize all the animations and then you can do the C clock customization as well. And here is the gesture anywhere option. So if you swipe from here, you'll open a gesture control and you can add or remove any specific gesture for sorry at add calculator right C. And reload it back 
and op getting the taking the anywhere just anywhere else, and then I'm trying to see so it will open the calculator so this is very simple and if I can easily drag and close it that like that so that's about the gesture anywhere and in the dimensions and uh, display and animations you can customize the animations all the system animations you can hear app circle bar oh, so this is the app, app circle bar I can add and different applications here and here is the add bar add app bar I'm sorry okay I'll, I'll increase the ticket width and add something to the add bar like any application just drag and drop the application save it where did that go okay i'll take the settings up again okay i'm sorry this spike control is keep coming i'll go and turn off the bike control interface and then app bar again I don't know it's not working with this one try on left side okay so here it's working on the right side so that's about the app bar and then notification drawer it's like quick pull down option if you want from the right I can do that or left I can do that and then can I want to turn off the show, show with the options and I can also customize all these toggles here like add any extra toggle if you want it and then if you want to show four toggles in a row I can do that auto class clamp and enlarge the first row slim actions and if I want to add slim actions to the toggles I can do that as well and if I want to show the brightness brightness slider there in the notification area I can do that as well and maybe on these other options nothing worth mentioning so these are the color options I can customize the color of the notification next one is the recent panel and settings so this is the this is the notification panel and settings I can add the clear all recent button and I can also position the that button's position clear class memory bar if I want to show see so you can see the memory bar up, on top So that's about the recent panel settings. Next one is the advanced options. From here, you can like make up, make lock blocker. So you can play with that and touch screen gesture device. Just like off screen touch, screen of gestures. I, if you want to use, you can use them. So that's about the carbon ROM fiber specific, have uh, carbon ROM exclusive features and other features like lock screen. In lock screen, you get all the lock screen option sounds display themes so you can customize all the aspects of the themes here security users system profile privacy in privacy you'll get privacy guard is for push silence and strategies and blacklist and um, in the language and settings you can see it, it supports almost all the languages and printing will get nothing and performance super issue so this is a pre-rooted ROM So basically that's all about this ROM, you can see the uh, default applications which comes with this ROM. So basically this is a really fluid and very fast ROM, you should give it a try and which is also based on the Android 5.1.1 uh, which is the latest version of Android. So if you want to know how to install this ROM, there is a link in the description to show you that, just go and check it out. And I'll put a Antutu benchmark of the same ROM. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.